There is no crime. There is not even, there's nothing unlawful about him getting out of the car. Of course, in retrospect, we all wish he had stayed in the car. But he gets out of the car. He's on the phone. That 911 call, he's actually outside during most of it. And remember, the, the, the dispatcher is saying to him, what does he look like? Where, where is he? So, so he's, you know, we all have focused on the, uh, the dispatcher saying, you know, we don't need you to follow him. But the dispatcher is, the dispatcher is also asking questions about what's going on. Which this on. juror did zero in on, as you right. pointed out and, last and night. And so... You know, th th this out. was not a, um, this was not a, cra I mean, her, her view of the evidence is not crazy. It's not only not crazy, it's completely defensible. Based on what was presented, I, frankly, there's no other verdict based on what was presented. I know that people will, that polarizes well, but, people, but the way this case was presented, the way this case was argued. But, but, but what, what could they have done differently other than oh introduce the tapes? Well, I will. Well, no. Paul, Paul, do you want to jump in here? Do you want me well, to start with the litany yeah, let, please, they could please have done differently? Please let me, please. Yeah. Right, I'm, please I'm, let I'm, me jump in. You're the prosecutor. Said, I'm not giving prosecutors any So, tips. Paul, <laughs> let's, uh, let's talk about some things. What, let, what, let, let me just say, so that... There's a couple of things. Like the first thing that jumps out to me is that there was a roadmap to convict and have a different version of events. And we raised that issue earlier, but you know, when the witness says that Trayvon was saying, get off, get off. Well, there you have it right there that the fight wasn't according to the version that Zimmerman gave them. But then again, I, I know this issue just keeps coming up and we dance around it, but I think the race issue is really important. I feel like it was important and I feel like the defense used race Right. I feel like and the prosecution the needed to address race, even if that would not have changed the juror's mind. I think the viewers and the audience and America would have felt like, well, you raised the issue and let them but, but know also, wait, that wait, this I, speaks to the intent. Wait, this, pa Paul, wouldn't this you talks say about why he did read it? Yeah. Wouldn't you say when the prosecution, because I don't know about you, but I've never had two jurors on a, on a Batson motion reseated, and you then end up with a all-white jury. At that point, you got to say to yourself, yeah. okay, if I've run out of peremptory challenges, am I going to just go straight right. forward with the same case, or am I going to retool? And if you're going to retool... You have to. You have yeah. to retool. It's prosecutorial incompetence not to, and for them to then keep going forward with the same case with that jury is absolute and prosecutorial the, malpractice. The judge also did something weird here. The judge said that the prosecution could say profiling, but not, not racial, racial profiling. I don't even know what that means.